How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We are doing a double upload today because some news came out on Genus Brands and I did a video on them, I think it was last week Friday, which I'll link here. They had some big news about an exciting business development opportunity. Uh, they announced that information last Friday and their stock shot up. And I did a video where I talked about how I don't really see some news that they could have that would make them go up that much. There was no indication for what that news would be. So the fact that they shut up 55% in a day seemed like an overreaction to me. And I was talking about basically how the stock has been uh, decreasing in value over the last couple weeks. And I said that it was a risky play. I did misquote some information. So I apologize for that. I talked about their balance sheet and they had updated it since the last quarter. So I had some uh, incorrect information there, but that is also why I always say to do your own research on the company. I'm not ever saying that you should buy a company or sell a company just because of what I say. You should always do your own research. I have that in the description and I try to say in all the videos, but sometimes I forget it. But uh, that is on me for missing that and I'm gonna cover a little bit of that today, but I wanna talk about the news that came out and what the CEO said today that was the big news of the day and talk about whether it is good news, bad news, etc. And I wanna take a look at the stock price. So before we get into it, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, it really helps out the channel and we'll get right into it. So Genus is down 17% today. If we look at the five day, it was up pretty significantly from last week still, but it's down from if you had bought it Friday. So unfortunately, if you bought into some of the hype, you would be down about 20%. So they came out with the news that they are doing a joint venture with Stanley's POW Entertainment, and they're going to create something called Stanley Universe. Stanley Universe will assume worldwide rights and perpetuity to the name, physical likeness, physical signature, live action, and animated motion picture, television, online, digital publishing, comic book merchandising, and licensing rights to Stanley and his IP creations, past, present, and going forward. So that's a mouthful, but they got a lot of the IP from Stanley. In announcing this deal today, the CEO of Genus Brands said, in all of Hollywood, there's no greater prize. This is the holy grail. Stanley Universe is a once in a lifetime asset drawn from over 100 original heretofore unexploited properties created by the most successful creator of intellectual property of our time. And the deal will leave Genus Brands as a managing and controlling partner of Stanley Universe joint venture. And they already have some of the IP from Stanley, but some of this is some of his IP from after he passed away that hasn't been released yet. So the CEO goes on to talk about how Spider-Man, Iron Man, Black Panther, those are all great, but he thinks that some of the greatest movies and greatest shows of all time aren't even made yet from Stanley. And he talks about how some of the characters that they're gonna be able to bring to life are gonna be quite amazing. He talks about Tomorrow Men, String Bean, Black Fury and Virus, and he he doesn't really provide too much information on what kind of revenue or profits this might make the company, and you should definitely read this in your own time too. It's on their website, and I'm sure if you just look up Genus News or something, you'll be able to find it, but it, it caused the stock to go down dramatically today. So if we look pre-market today at you know, just after 4 a.m., the stock was up to $4.42. Now it's at, what, $2.92? So it's gone down almost 33% since this morning. So quick plug for Weeble. If you don't have Weeble, you can trade from 4 a.m. Eastern time to 9.30 a.m. So I, I assume that maybe some of this was from Weeble, you know, buying in at this early hour and then selling out. But if you don't have it yet, I have a video right here that you can take a look at. I go over some of the pros and cons in Weeble, and you know I like it as an app. I use it mostly for research, but also if I wanna get in and out of stocks after the market closes or before it opens, it's a nice thing to have. So if you sign up and deposit $100, you get two free shares of stock, one worth up to $1,400. But as you can see here, it dropped dramatically throughout the morning, and then it went back up, and now it's back down. So 
I think overall, this is actually pretty good news. Uh, I don't think that it provides any more clarity, which is the issue. It doesn't provide clarity for the earnings going forward. But it, it's good news because they got some deals and some licensing to, for like the toys for a lot of Stanley uh, intellectual property. And I think a lot of hardcore fans of Stanley are going to want to watch this kind of stuff and maybe buy their kids some of this. But it's not like Disney is partnering with them. It's not a huge name. It's not something where they're going to put in the box office and they're going to sell billions of dollars or anything like that. It, it They're going to produce TV shows from it, uh, most likely. So it it's going to be good for the company. But the main issue with Genus right now is we have no idea how much they're going to make. So we have no idea whether they're going to make hundreds of millions or tens of millions, um, billions a couple of years from now, which I find that unlikely. But do your own research on this. But one of the things I talked about that was incorrect that I want to bring up here is the fact that I said that they had, what was it, 20, 20 billion in current liabilities. And there was some news a couple weeks ago about how they become debt free and have 55 million in cash on their balance sheet. So they essentially turned some of their debts into, into equity for some of their debt holders, which is nice in the sense that it makes it less risky to hold the company. No one's going to come calling and create them to go bankrupt, but your shares are awfully diluted now. So they were already selling shares a few months ago for between 35 cents and $1.35 or something like that, somewhere around there. And now they also converted a lot of their debt to equity. So they're going to dilute the earnings. So whatever they make, you're going to get less in your pocket from, which I think is going to be good for them short term because they're not at a risk of going bankrupt. But long term, it's really going to hurt your earnings. So yeah, they converted it, but it's not like they just earned so much that they could pay it off. They just created uh, more equity, which dilutes your shares. So that is something that I would really be cautious of. They've made it clear that, first of all, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, they gave him equity for his work in the project. So they're creating a show with him and they gave him equity. They also were issuing shares before that. They're also converting debt to shares. I am just surprised with how much uh, how much share dilution is going on, and I would be cautious of it going forward and cautious of the fact that we really have no idea what kind of profits, net income they're going to be able to get out of this and all the deals that they're getting. So kind of a high risk, high reward play. But let me know your thoughts on this. I'd be interested in hearing from you. Are you buying Genus now? Are you selling it? It's something where if we go back to their sheet here or their their stock analysis, just over two months ago, they were a 30 cent stock. Now they're trading at $3. Uh, they were up to $9 before. I just think that it's one of those plays that I'm not comfortable in. I'm not buying it anytime soon. Uh, it's just something that I don't feel the pull to invest in. But I think they're just going to have a very difficult time competing with some of the other uh, content producers right now, I mean, between Amazon, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, just some of the other companies too, Hulu, there is a lot of content these days. Uh, even think about YouTube, for example. More kids are watching YouTube and more adults are watching YouTube than ever. It's a very competitive space to get into for Genus, and they are a small company. So I, I'm just very cautious about them. But like I said, let me know your thoughts below. Um, I'd be interested in hearing if any of you guys were able to buy in when it was less than a dollar. I'd be very interested in hearing it. I just think a lot of people bought when it was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then maybe back down. And I know a lot of people are holding for a long term. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want those links to Weeble below, they are right down there. If you guys want to start investing with M1 Finance, I'm actually just becoming an affiliate now. So if you want to invest with them, they're my favorite brokerage app and I really like the layout with the pies. Those links are below if you want to use them. But if you have any questions on that, let me know. And I appreciate it. Thank you for liking the video again and I will see you in the next one. Bye.